Hello, everyone. Welcome to an order of service for Noonday with St. George's. My name is Melanie, and I'm so glad that you could take this time to be with me for these few moments of holiness as we sit together in the quiet for this Noonday prayer service. Before we begin, I invite you to close your eyes with me, to draw in a breath that contains the loving and abiding presence of God, and as you breathe out, as you exhale, to release the stress, the anxiety, the concerns that you may be carrying around with you. So breathe in God's love, the quiet peace that being with God brings, and breathe out the stress and the concerns of the day. Breathe in and breathe out. So let's begin. Our order of service for noonday can be found on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have one with you, don't worry about it. You will find a link in the video as you're watching it. It'll be below in white letters, I think. But click on that and you'll be right where you need to be online to do this service with me. So here we go. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for today is Psalm 46, and you can find it on page 649 in the Book of Common Prayer. I'm going to be reading aloud with Katie, a dear friend from church who is going to be reading with me. You can read aloud with us, or you can listen as we read and let the words wash over you. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved. And though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea. Though its waters rage and foam. And though the mountains tremble at its tumult. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. The holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be overthrown. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations make much ado and the kingdoms are shaken. God has spoken and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come now and look upon the works of the Lord. What awesome things he has done on earth. It is he who makes war to cease in all the world. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture for today is from 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 3. My God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior, you save me from violence. Thanks be to God. And here we have space for a meditation, and I would like to share this one from retired Episcopal Bishop Stephen Charleston, who happens to be a Native American elder and a citizen of the Choctaw Nation. He writes, every step forward that we take to advance the cause of love is another step toward the dream of human liberation. If we are asked what we are working for, it is the dream that one day all people will be free from fear, free from hunger, free from oppression. While that day may seem far distant from us during these times of struggle and uncertainty, that is what makes our work all the more critical to our future. We will not stop or go back. 
we will walk forward, doing the hard labor of love against all odds, until we hand the vision to the next generation, one step closer to hope than when we first began. Amen. Our service continues with the prayers in the middle of page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. And here we have the opportunity to offer prayers of intercession, prayers of thanksgiving, prayers of concern. You can speak them aloud where you are. You can hold them in your heart and know that whatever you choose, if you want to put them in the comment section, that's good too. But whatever you choose, know that God is hearing your prayers, hearing our prayers. And I will offer up these prayers that will hopefully encompass all of our thanksgivings, all of our concerns. Holy One, in the beginning you beamed light that shines in the darkest hour, light that no darkness could overcome. Pierce the soul of this nation with your light and enlighten everyone with your divine wisdom. Pierce the soul of this nation with your light and blind the demons of violence and hate. Pierce the soul of this nation with your light, that our chests draw in hope, and our hands grasp with strength, and our innards gird with all their might, and our hearts pump the lifeblood of an unlikely, luminous new beginning being born. Amen. Gracious God, in your loving heart, there is room for everyone without exception. Give us courage to be so at home in you that we dare make room for others. Let your world be a place of delight and homecoming for all creation. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for the gift of your time. I always enjoy these moments that I get to spend with you as we share noonday prayer. So until next time I see you, Vaya con Dios. Go with God. Bye-bye.